Another Monday morning on the Mendip Hills. Today is also the winter solstice and I quite like walking and being outside on the shortest day of the year. And it's also interesting how so much can change in the space of seven days because I came out here last weekend, or last Monday, seven days ago and I was living in a tier three restriction area, whereas half the landscape here is in tier two. And now, one week later, North Somerset has joined Bristol in tier two. So I have more space to roam on my walks. This is a fairly standard Mendip walk for me. I part once again at Burrington Coombe. I'm climbing up towards Black Down and Beacon Batch. Then I'll make a, a nine mile circular morning walk of it. Down to my left in this valley, we have West Twin Brook, one of two paired brooks in this area. Days like this, some might stay indoors, but no, not me. And following this track now, we'll take most of the way towards Beacon Batch and the Trig Point. Standing at 325 meters of sea level, this mound marks the highest point in all the Mendip Hills. There isn't much you can see today, but I normally go around that direction towards Cheddar. Today I'm going back that way to my Blackburn home. I'm now leaving the common land and following this typically watery bright away. Today I am wearing my last Sportiva TX4 mid boots. They're the ones I bought back in August and they've been good for the most part but with the increasingly wet bloody weather get damp soft very often so yesterday I went out to the measure in Taunton and I bought some brand new leather water boots. Just passing these two transmitters now, heading down towards the road, which we'll soon cross to get down to Blackmore Re um, Nature Reserve. Following this path down now towards Blackmore Nature Reserve. I came here, I think, late November. It was really, really misty and atmospheric. It was quite cool. As I was saying, I normally go right along here towards Cheddar, but today I'm going left and then turning right uh, towards Compton Martin. Fairly busy rounds here this morning. Quite a few families out with their kids and that sort of thing. Good number of cars in the car park. If anyone thinking of heading out on Boxing Day or New Year's Day, uh, I'd say good luck to you because 
I reckon this year will be very busy, even more so than usual. Because of, as the Guardian wrote recently, it's been the year of the walker. Another road crossing to come. So I think this path leads to Hazelbury Manor, I think it is. And um, building the next set of gates, we join the Limestone Link, which is a 33 mile footpath crossing the Mendip Hills. It starts in Shipham at one end in the west. I think it ends near Poulton or Clutton somewhere, a bit further east towards Bath. I've not walked the whole thing, I've done bits of it in sections. There are several points of local historic interest, all to do with mining and that sort of thing. But it's generally a mix of countryside, farmland, the occasional back garden. It's not so much your open moorland, hilltop adventure. We could go left through that gate over the stile. Uh, following the Yeo Valley Way. Oh yeah, it's a newly established footpath I heard about recently. I think it's by Sue Gearing and the guy who does the Mendip videos on YouTube. I think it was named now, Les. Les something. But yeah, they've established this kind of footpath, not very long, only a few miles, called the Yeo Valley Way. It cuts through here. Heading down towards a permissive footpath I know of. It's not recorded on the OS maps, but it's quite a nice walk with good views of the valley below. So here's the permissive footpath I mentioned. Already you can see the good views down towards Blagdon Lake and the Yeo Valley. I was hoping to stop at some point and talk to you about a few things, but so I'm going to try and do it while I walk. And hopefully by now you've seen the video from me, it's quite sensitive. Um, talking very briefly about suicide, which is something I find very hard to talk about generally. I started this year in a very bad state of mind. I can recall being on a walk out near Sandpoint on New Year's Day. Energy levels were depleted. And I just wanted to end it already. I wasn't going to do it there and then, but I just, I had enough. I couldn't bear the thought of another year of loneliness and disappointment. And those feelings were partly triggered by my reaction to something else in my life. Recently I've been genuinely okay, not on top of the world, but I've been a lot better than I have been. And I made a choice last night to do something and some of those emotions from my past situation have resurfaced. I made a choice to deliver a Christmas card to someone I used to know, someone I still hold quite dearly in my heart. And it was just walking down that road for the first time in over a year and recognising the front door, seeing the car, seeing the lights on in her home. It's just like a reminder that we're still living our lives separately. And to me it's been a great loss this year. And I still, yeah, I'm still holding on to it even though I probably shouldn't. I find it very hard to let go of things and just move on naturally. I think in some ways the pandemic and lockdown kind of saved me. It gave me that seven week break from work, from the routine, having to be somewhere I didn't want to be. Especially when feeling and thinking those things. So there you've got Blagden Lake and the Yeo Valley. And over here is True Valley Lake and the True Valley. Still following this permissive path. It's very hard to go wrong here. 
with a fence on either side and good views down to the lakes again. Down the track here, past the farm or two, across some roads and we'll almost be back in the car. Finally, across Barrington Ham. Looking back over towards Blackdown, still in the cloud. Here's the last little valley I've got to follow down to get back to the road. But it's steeper than it looks. I hope you've enjoyed following this one and by the time you see the video you've had a good Christmas. Thank you for watching the video and I'll probably see you again now in 2021. So stay safe and take care. I'll see you then.